Okay, so we're going to do some grafting today, particularly the technique I use is a whip and tongue graft. We're going to practice on a finger line. So the tools and the materials that you'll need to start grafting is a sharp knife. Now this can either be a scalpel, there are specialty grafting knives. I use this Stanley style blade because um, it's extra sharp. Some secateurs, some scissors, and also some grafting tape. I like the Parafilm brand and use that uh, quite regularly. You'll also need in terms of material, your scion, which is the parent plant that you want to reproduce. And you'll also need a rootstock, which is the plant that you'll be grafting onto. To firstly start with the graft, you have to look at the scion and basically prepare it. So we'll choose um, about a 10 centimeter to length with a few nodes that the scion can shoot from. I also like just to remove the lower parts and the leaves and also the thorns. Then we have to do a 45 degree cut to commence the graft. So I like to use a chopping block, um, just what works for me. Some people like to do it up in their hand. I like to lay it down. I just find I get a uniform cut every time. So if you place the, uh, the scion down, and at a 45 degree angle, you cut down like that. That'll create a 45 degree cut like that. Next, we'll make an incision down the middle of that cut. Now this is the dangerous part, so you'll see me going quite slow and using a rocking motion, so I don't injure my fingers. So far, so good, I haven't done that. So just nice and gently, letting the blade do the work. Create an incision. Now how deep you go is up to you. I estimate I'd do about two centimeters or so. And that's the scion ready. So next you have your rootstock. It's really about matching up the scion to the rootstock to make sure they're the right diameter because we need to match up these cambium layers. As you look, if you can see that at the uh, at the scion there, there's a, uh, a sort of a green to whitish green line around the outside. That's the cambium layer. We want that layer to match up with the rootstocks layer, and that's what will uh, form a strong bond or a strong union. So we uh, we prepare the graft sort of by eyeing it where we might want to put the scion. I'm going to try there. And then in the same way that we did with the sign, we lay the rootstock down, do that 45 degree angle cut. And there we go. See there that that's pretty similar to what I did with the scion, which is what we're after. The same sort of incision goes down the middle, again being gentle, rocking it, letting the blade do the work. Same sort of depth as on the scion, so they fit together nicely. And that's about there. From there, we can gently place the two pieces together. So basically here what we're doing is making the incisions come together so they join, making sure it all looks good in terms of diameter and that does look good there. If you can see, they're matching up quite nicely. And I'll be happy with that. So the next part is to wrap the graft. That's where a grafting tape comes in. So I use, like I said, parafilm. It's nice and stretchy and it has the added benefit that it uh, is basically biodegradable so after it degrades it falls away um, and falls off the graph once everything is healed. I cut a small strip to start with. Now this strip is mainly used to really get a tight bond around the union between the scion and the rootstock. So I'll wrap it around just where I've uh, put them together there. 
and I wrap a fair few times, each time getting a little bit tighter to make sure there's that nice close clamp between the two, forcing those two parts together. A little bit of up, a little bit of down there. Also, while being gentle, you don't want to move that join any, but the tighter you get, the less likely that is to happen. And that's good. So you can see there, that's the first part of that craft done. Now I take a slightly larger bit, a larger piece, and I'll start wrapping up the sile. This is called mummy grafting or mummy wrapping. Basically start where the, uh, the union is, pull it, and then gently wrap up. This protects the scion, keeps moisture in the scion. There we go. Some people don't do this. Some people put little plastic bags over the top there. Basically recreates the same theory. But that's what we have all wrapped up. So that tape will stay on there until the graft takes and the scion starts to shoot off. And as I said, after time, that'll all fall away. So here's an example of a freshly healed graft. It's about two months old. You can see that the two joins have come together and the scion is looking healthy and starting to shoot from the top. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, hit the like button, and if you'd wish, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.